so this one's got a new step. Everybody ready? What does it say the interest rate is on this one? So move your decimal back, 0 0.048. Everybody good? Now, on the house payment problem, Bryce, we've got to divide it by 12. You guys know why? How many times a year do y'all make a house payment? Once a month, so 12 times. So would somebody do 0 0.048, divide it by 12, and get me a number? 0 .004. 0 .004. So I'm going to go up here. Erase both of these, and Bryson says put 0 .004. Okay. All right, last thing we got to enter in the formula. N stands for number of times you make a house payment. All right, how many times a year you make a house payment? Twelve. Twelve. What does it say in the problem about how many years they're financing it with the bank? Twenty. So somebody's got to do 12 times 24. All right, so I put negative 240 in that spot. Where does the negative come from? I have no idea why it's there, but you know what? It's in the formula right here, so you got to put a negative. All right, so first thing y'all got to do, type in everything in the bracket, put it in your calculator. Let's see what we get. Tell them, Rebecca. Today. What? Are you going to remember this when we come back Monday? Yes, you will. And this is why I leave this problem on my test. Um, is that why you failed? No. Dang, Rebecca. So I made an 87 on my test. I didn't answer all of them. Oh, all right, somebody get me a number. I got what you got. Maybe if we got us some of the glasses like this. My glasses are old. All right. <laughs> oh, thank you. You typing this and you ain't got your calculator out. I retired it. You retired it. I'm okay. it. Three years. All right. So I got 154.09. If there's somebody that got something different, I don't mind looking at your calculator to see where you messed up. James, we good? Everybody good on that one, Lexus? Anybody want to give me the last step? Just divide it. So I got 127,000 on top. Divided by 154.09. All right, house payment. I got $824.19. Is there a blank for our house payment on the sheet? Yes. All right, that goes in the house payment. $824.19. All right, give me a second, Dion. All right, we got to figure out the next blank, which says total for 20 years. Wow, how are we going to figure that out? Um, think about it. We do this every month, right? Twelve. And that number times twenty. Or we could just do this, Kelly. And since we've already did twelve times twenty right here, right. y'all could just multiply it by two forty. So let's do that. Eight twenty four nineteen cent times two hundred and forty. So I got a hundred ninety seven thousand eight hundred and five and sixty cent. That goes in the next blank that says total for 20 years. Write it down. <clears throat> now, wait a minute. We got a problem. The house only cost $127,000. Where's all this extra Interest. money coming from? Interest. Interest. That's what you're going to pay the bank just for them loaning you the money. So to figure out the interest, we just subtract them. And whoa, the interest on this guy is $70,805. So, make a long story short, you better build your house with cash or marry your sugar mama. It's got plenty of money, Trina. Well, if my mama has plenty of money. Wait, or, or, or just get it from your mama. That's fine, too. I minus them, and it gave me 70000 So this goes in, right. This is your interest right here. That's a lot of money for just using the bank. All right, house payment, total for 20 years, interest. That's what you, those three is what you write on the line. Yeah, I had three blanks, right?
Interest paid after 20 years. Wow, you paid them $70,000. But now the bank won't even loan you the full amount of a house. Now, guys, if you bought a house that was $127,000, you'd probably have to have $30,000 cash before the bank would loan you the rest. So you got to save some money. Good one. All right, let's do three and four, guys, and we'll shut it down. It's three, three. That time. Sorry, wrong one. All right, number three. Is number three a present value or a future value? Future value. Look it up. Future. Future. Good. All right. That means it's going to be an easy one. It looks like. All right. So, how much money are they putting in the bank one time a year? Eight fifty. Eight fifty goes in front. All right, Rebecca, what's the interest rate on number three? Five. Five, okay. So I got one plus point oh five. Okay, guys, on the future value, am I supposed to divide the interest rate by 12? No, you only do that on the house payment problem because you do it 12 times a year. The last thing I need is the number that goes right here. How many times are they going to make this payment to the bank? 16. 16. All right, so this one's easy because all we got to do is type it in one time. We don't have to divide anything. So do it. All right, who's got an answer for us? I got $20,108.87. All right, check my math, check your calculator. If I need to come look at your calculator, if you couldn't get it, I'll be glad to point out what you did wrong. Nope. Everybody good, Sid? <laughs> Devlin, you good on three? Yeah. All right, we got one more. Everybody ready for number four? Yes, sir. All right, number four, last one. All right, this one is where you're doing a house payment, so we're going to do present value formula again. So, how much does the house cost? It costs... Uh, Three hundred fifteen thousand. Better have you a sugar mama to buy one that costs that much. I'm gonna give me a sugar daddy, but I don't want him to want no sugar. <laughs> 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 what are this for, right? All right, present value. I got one minus one plus five <laughs> negative ten to the power. I have three other figures. All right. So. Bryce, help me with this one. <laughs> Y'all side conversations can get scary. <laughs> All right, Bryson, we got to find the interest rate on this one, Bryson. Look up number four, see what the interest rate is. Uh, the zero, point zero four seven. .047. All right, somebody help me. Why do we have to divide this one by 12? You do it every 12 months. Because you do it every month. You do it 12 times a year. It's basically... Let me look. 0 .047 divided by 12 is. I'm going to use point zero zero three nine. Point zero zero three nine. Present value one plus point zero zero three nine. All right, Kellyanne, how did we figure out a minute ago the number of house payments they're going to make? So do thirty times twelve for me. So guys, we got to have a negative three sixty in that spot right there. All right, type them in. Let's see what we get. <laughs> so 
So you just gonna miss all these on the tapes? All right, Bryson, what you got right here? Nothing. Nothing, because you hadn't done it. I got 193.26. Somebody confirm that. Yes. Yes, sir. All right, last step. we got to divide them to find the house payment. Let's divide them. Wow, they got a big house payment. All right, I got house payment, $1,629.93. That's the house payment on number four. Write it in. But now you got to this is why I don't put a bunch of people. Now, the next one, Sydney, we're going to go on the right, and it says total for 30 years. Well, we already figured out if you make a house payment every month for 30 years, that's 360 house payments. So we got to times that number by 360. Let's do that. It's 58000 no. Five hundred eighty-six thousand seven hundred seventy-four. Wow, that's a lot of money. I got five, eight, six, seven, seven, four, and eighty cents. Now the house costs three hundred and fifteen thousand. So to find the interest, we're going to subtract. And I got two seventy-one seven seven four. Guys, this time the interest, the cost of dealing with the bank, is almost as much as building a house, which is insane to me. All right, so I'm done unless you got makeup work. Y'all got a long time to sit around today. I appreciate some of you guys working hard for me. Guys who've been on strike. Michael, if you're ready for your test, you can start on it. Nikki, if you're ready, you can start on it. It's up to you. And then, Kevin, you want to come back forth or you want to go ahead and do what we got to do right now? This one, that's the one in the back. Did you read it?
Alright, there it is, Ma. Oh. 